Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part about doing this right here, joining these letters of this text another way. This way I use the three-point curve, and this way I'm going to use another way. Just kind of show you in case you don't want a curve, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to left-click, right-click, and turn these into hairlines. Now, I'm not going to weld this like I did the previous one. But I'm going to select my font, and I'm going to go Control-K. That broke them apart. And I'm going to go Control-K again so I can get each individual letter. So now each letter is broken up. Now what I'm going to do is take my Shape tool, and I'm going to, well, evidently I need to break it again. Control-K, grab my Shape tool. Well, I need to convert it to a curve. And while we're here, we're going to convert this one to a curve. Now grab your shape tool. And as you can see, I've got a node right there. So what I need to do is put another node here. Another node here. I'm making four, I'm making three nodes. So I'm going to have two nodes setting real close to the other one. I'm going to zoom this in. I'm going to grab my shape tool and I'm just going to select my interior two nodes. I'm going to hold down my control button and I'm just going to bring it over. Now this is a lot more straight than the other one, but you could grab all these and convert them to a, well, they're already a curve. So then you could just take this and just move it down, grab on the center of that, move it down. It changed our line a little bit, so you need to be careful. Um, see if it does it again. Yep. So there's a little bit of a problem there, but you can click on this node and turn it into a cusp, and then it won't do that. It's a little bit still too sharp, so you could grab that node and play with it a little bit, make it not quite as sharp. Now grab your virtual segment delete key, delete those two parts, hold down your shift key, and join those two letters. Now it's a little bit, the E is a little bit funky looking right here, but real easily turn this into a, a cusp so you only change one handle at a time and just move that one in to make it look a little bit better. And for the video, that's going to be good enough. And then just take your smart fill tool and fill it in. Now we don't have this welded together. So let's take and group them all together, weld them together, grab your smart fill tool and fill it in. And always remember, especially if you got your smart fill tool set on no fill, but you've got an outline here. So if you engrave this and cut it out, say if you have a rectangle around it and you ran a combination job, it's going to cut this line, then it's going to go back and cut your text out. So make sure you get rid of those hairlines before you run your job. And just to show you what you do there, I'm just going to delete this. So now we've got an engravable part. I want to put it in P. Put I press P, put it in the center of the page. Now I'm going to grab a box, hit P on the center of the page. So now it's going to cut this out and engrave your text, but you don't have any hairline. And that looks pretty natural. Um, I think this one's a little bit better because I used a three-point curve, but you could curve it a little bit more. Anyway, that's another way to do it. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.